With the massive success of Top Gun Maverick, Tom Cruise proved that the era of the movie star is not over. It might be fading, but he is not ready to let it go. And the next movie that's coming out may just be bigger in terms of scale, in terms of scope, in terms of everything. And it may end up being the biggest box office success in the Mission Impossible series yet. And Tom Cruise is showing once again how dedicated he is to his craft. Watch, Tom Cruise pulls off the quote, biggest stunt in cinema history. And it was funny because was it just a few weeks ago that Tom Cruise wanted to thank Top Gun Maverick fans for making it so special. Thanks for coming to the movie theaters. We love you guys. And he just did a very casual fucking skydive, just jumped out of a helicopter while somebody was filming him to say, hey guys, have a happy holidays, be safe. See you guys at the movies. We'll see you at the movies. Just thanking his fans once again. It was awesome. It was badass. He proved why everybody loves, at least if you don't like Tom Cruise as a person, you got to respect what this dude does in terms of like what he puts his body on the line for, what he prepares for, how much he cares about the movies he's making. And they showed this insane stunt that he pulled off. He came, he saw, he conquered the Mission Impossible. Tom Cruise used social media to share some vision of his latest screen effort, showing fans just what is in store with his next cinematic outing. Flagging what he called his most dangerous stunt ever, he issued behind-the-scenes feature for his upcoming film, Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1, in a clip posted Monday on Twitter. Days after posting a video jumping out of a plane, the Top Gun actor dropped a nine-and-a-half-minute-long clip showing him driving a motorcycle off a cliff. We can't show the entire freaking thing. It's a 10-minute video, but I wanted to react to some parts of this. And the bottom line is that Tom Cruise is getting ready to jump, jump a motorcycle off of a cliff and turn that into a base jump, pull a parachute, and then land. This is not done with any wires. This is not done with any Hollywood magic. This is him just doing it. This is Tom Cruise just saying, you know what? I'll just, uh, no problem. I'll drive this motorcycle off a ramp, go off this cliff, and I'll do a skydive out of it. And I can't imagine what the insurance was for this entire thing, but this dude is just that dedicated. Some people talked about it. This is far and away the most dangerous thing we've ever attempted. We're going to shoot it in Norway. It'll be a motorcycle jump off a cliff into a base jump. Um, Wade Eastwood revealed Cruz went through a year of base training, advanced skydive training, a lot of canopy skills, and a lot of tracking. Base jumping coach Miles Dacher simply described Cruz as an amazing individual. Not only did he do 30 jumps a day to perfect every aspect of skydiving, he performed 13,000 in total, but he also did a bunch of training on a motorcycle. So I'm going to skip around this video a little bit. It is nuts. This is far and away the most dangerous thing we've ever attempted. We've been working on this for years. We're going to shoot it in Norway. And it'll be a motorcycle jump off a cliff into a base jump. I wanted to do it since I was a little kid. It all comes down to one thing. The audience. I don't know if we're going to get hit for that freaking Mission Impossible music that's awesome, but let's watch a little bit of him, him prepping. Particular disciplines involved to make this whole thing happen. John and I are jumping out of the helicopter. He's going to chase me. That's what we say to each other. Don't be careful. Be confident. Be confident. A year of base training, advanced skydive training, a lot of canopy skills, a lot of tracking. Tom Cruise, he's an amazing individual. You tell him something and he just locks it in. So not only did he do just like jump after jump after jump for skydiving, look at what he did. He wanted to train to be like the perfect motocross athlete. Great day, man. This is the next part of training right here, motocross. Let's do it. So we built a motocross track. Getting comped in the motocross, so he's comfortably jumping 70, 80 foot tabletop. Great time in the air, great positioning on the bike, landing world. I have to get so good at this that there's just no way that I miss my marks. Like, no, he's not going to let a stuntman do it. He's going to do it himself. This man is 60 fucking years old. That's good. Come a little closer to me. Coming up with the stunt is only one of the technical challenges. The other is putting a camera in a place that you can see where Tom is doing it. Finding the right lens, the right platform. 
I would advocate everybody go watch this entire video because it's crazy. Like the type of testing they do, they have him jump off a ramp and like, you know, on a, you know, cord where they pull him and he's safe, but the, you know, the motorcycle goes crashing because they want to get every single aspect. What happens to hit Tom Cruise if the wind goes this way or that way? How often is he in this spot? What is the odds that he's going to be right here? Because they need the camera in the right spot because it'd be pretty bad to do this shot and not have the camera in the right place. Um, but we just got to show how this entire thing looks, don't we? Uh, Tom Cruise then warmed up in a helicopter. Look at the warm up. This is the warm up. This guy just casually jumps out right by the cliff. Look at this warm up. In this area, in the valley, and on the ground. And then he has to safely deploy a parachute. Now he's in a rock bowl with walls all around him, and he's got to fly out of it. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. Like, this is actually putting your body on the line. Obviously, he's safe. He's getting trained. He's doing all this stuff. But this dude is putting it all on the line for a movie. For a movie. Look at the guy. Look at the guy folding he it up. He is about 10 minutes away from coming up here landing. Imagine being the dude that's folding Tom Cruise's parachute. And if you fuck it up, you just killed Tom Cruise. Holy shit. Doing the actual stunt. Sounds good. We're in motion. See you soon. Now we're going to set the frames of this camera ship with the drone just to verify everything, then we're going to get ready. You know, the only things you really have to avoid while doing a stunt like this is uh, serious injury or death. Here we go. You're riding a motorcycle, which is pretty dangerous, on top of a ramp that's elevated off the ground. So if you come off the ramp, that's going to be very bad. You're falling. If you don't get a clean exit from the bike and you get tangled up with it, God. if you don't open your parachute, you're not going to make it like this is imagine the stress that's on all these guys right now. You're going to see it play out too. When he does actually do the jump, here's Tom. All right, well, let's get back to the start. Two, one, action. This freaking mission impossible. It better not copyright me mission impossible. I'm begging it. Tom Cruise. I love you, man. Don't fucking copyright claim me. They're like, thank God we didn't just kill Tom Cruise. You guys, thank you. Dr. Nelson, that was absolutely beautiful. Like nothing wrong. Oh. Bike went away. I mean, the track was perfect. It was like, it was, it was great. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thanks, mate. And the first thing Tom Cruise does, he's like, I think I can do it better. I think I can hold to the bike a little longer. <laughs> much the biggest stunt in cinema history. Tom Cruise just rode a motorcycle off a cliff six times today. Oh, and this is probably from the actual uh, from the actual movie itself. The music really kicks in right here. We'll play a little bit of it. That is absolutely nuts. Uh, but yes, when is this coming to theaters? Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. I don't know. Let's play this right here. <laughs> July 2023. You got to respect this, dude. You got to respect how far this guy's willing to prepare. Don't be careful. Be confident. That's the best line from that thing. Don't be careful. Be confident. 
you got to love this. I love what Tom Cruise is willing to do for these movies. I love the Mission Impossible movies. They just continue to get better and better and better. And it looks like Dead Reckoning Part 1 is just the next incredible installment in this saga. Amazing to see what Tom Cruise is willing to do. Why so many other of these woke, like ridiculous, fake victim actors are out there complaining about every little thing while Tom Cruise is out there doing this. Amazing. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.